Well, I want to bring you into this revelation tonight of all things working together for good for you. And there's a way that you can get there. I'm going to show you how to do it tonight. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Anything where you walk into the plan of God is the future. Is it possible for us to know the will of God? To know the plan of God to know the power of God to do it now we're gonna navigate our way into the future and that would be the future you understand so how are we gonna do this say you how do we bring this to pass how do we get involved in it John chapter 14 verse 26 but the comforter which is who is the Holy Ghost whom mm -hmm. right whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. Mm -hmm. Say all things. all things. What would that be? Will he teach you things to say? Mm -hmm. Will he teach you about the plan of God? Well, here it says he'll teach you all things, so I guess the answer to all those things is yes. John chapter 16, verse 13. Howbeit when he, though he's a he, he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into say guide me into, guide me into. that means you're not in it now you're being guided into it mm -hmm. so the into would be the future yeah. are you still here he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself and I've been over this many times that's really a bad translation he because he won't speak away from that's really what that word means mm -hmm. he won't speak away from himself because he's the spirit of truth right. right he's the spirit of truth he won't speak away from himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak he will he who holy the Holy Ghost he will show you things to come mm -hmm. what are things to come that's not well right now but it's how to get into the future how to get in and that should be where you're going to the perfect will of God the perfect plan of God and the power of God to bring it to pass mm -hmm. so it seems pretty clear if we're gonna navigate our way into the future we need to have the Holy Ghost because he's the one that will guide us there mm -hmm. are you here yes. well he says he's gonna be speaking I hope we didn't gloss over that he will show you because he's gonna speak things he will speak the future say the future. the future put those words together he will speak the future who the Holy, the Holy Ghost when he is come did I make that up no. when's he gonna do this when he is come he will do this it's something he does let's look at when he came Acts chapter 2 and verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them verse 4 and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak mm -hmm. with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance Jesus said that when the Holy Ghost came he would speak the future he would speak things to come mm -hmm. as he's giving them they began to speak as he mm -hmm. say they began to speak Maybe. As he. as he well according to what Jesus said he was going to speak the future he which would include teaching you all things so he is speaking they're the ones speaking it forth 
what are they speaking forth they're speaking forth in other tongues what are the other tongues they're speaking forth it had to be the future when they were speaking in tongues they were speaking as he gave them what to say and that had to be instruction it had to be the will of God it had to be the future whether you got that or not in the speaking is the revelation of the future your future the way the plan and the power to bring it to pass your future well I want to bring you into this revelation tonight of all things working together for good for you and there's a way that you can get there say there's a way I can get there, there's a way I can get there. And I'm gonna show you how to do it tonight isn't that good mm -hmm. yes. all things working together for good for you well if you were to ask me what my greatest treasure is what's your greatest treasure it's my ability to speak in agreement with the Word of God and with the Holy Ghost hourly daily his word I've come to this place I hope you're here every word of God has the ability in it to bring itself to pass in my life if I speak the Word of God it will bring itself to pass in my life if I don't speak the Word of God it's not going to bring itself to pass it has nothing to bring to pass you're not speaking it but there are specific scriptures there are specific words that have more value than other words I found this out you know people will be you know some people will be angry with me over that statement well, be angry all you want I'm telling you from where I come from there are specific words of God given to us that if we speak them they have more value say more value, more value. than other words does this make sense yes. Romans 8 28 which says all things work together for good for me if what I said is true that every word of God has the ability to bring itself to pass would that be a good word of God to have in your mouth yes. all things work together for good for me all things work together for good for me is there any value in that yes. that word would have a whole lot more value than maybe some other words mm -hmm. would it not what would the value of that word be all things working together for good for me well I'm here to add value to your life does this revelation add value to you I know for a fact that it does if you will listen I will add so much value to you that it will take you out of every any situation you're in right now and put you into something better Amen. but you got to hear it and then do it mm -hmm. Psalms chapter 118 I treasure this verse of scripture what do you mean treasure it I mean I find certain verses of scripture that if I put them in my mouth they do things for me they change me and they change my circumstances and situations mm -hmm. Psalms 118 verse 5 I called upon the Lord in distress and the Lord answered me and set me in a large place that word distress there means a tight place you ever been in a tight place before a place where it's tight mm -hmm. right I called upon the Lord in distress or in a tight place and the Lord answered me are you here mm -hmm. would that be good the Lord answered me and set me in a large place I called upon the Lord do we know how to call upon the Lord if you're here and you've been here long enough you know you call upon the Lord by saying mm -hmm. say I call upon the Lord, call upon the Lord. By, saying. by saying saying what speak his word speaking in agreement with his word is calling upon the Lord in which he will then take you from the tight place and put you into a large place yes. I called upon the Lord by saying 
how do we call by saying and then he answered me what did he answer you're saying yes. say he answered my saying what if you didn't saying then he's got nothing to answer he answers your saying that's how we call upon the Lord and set you in a large place and who is this that we're calling upon Holy the Holy Ghost he's God in the earth today he's the one you're speaking in agreement with well when he sets you in a large place the place you're set in is the place you called for does that make sense I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me in a large place he set you in the place you called for in that place if it came after you called for it was a place in the future you know you talk about the future and everybody's like, oh the future the future is just now from before mm -hmm. right so if I call upon the Lord I'm calling upon him by saying who am I calling upon the Holy Ghost I'm speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and he sets me in the place I called for some people are getting it are you getting it and that's where his plan is that's where his perfect will is so you're calling for the Lord right you're calling for help say help me Holy Ghost, help me, Holy Ghost. is that okay yes. is it okay to say help me Holy Ghost yes. is he the Lord in the earth yes. you're asking for his help you're calling for him I'm just showing you a better way and a more specific way of calling for him than just saying help me Holy Ghost although that's perfectly fine mm -hmm. right yes. I called upon the Lord he answered me and set me in a large place well the number one way he the Holy Ghost helps you is with and by the saying of his words Do you want to have results then do it this way if you don't want results do it some other way most of the church has been doing it some other way for a long time right the number one way that he the Holy Ghost helps you is by and with the saying of words whose words his words mm -hmm. what does he set you in his words what does he answer his words when you say them he set you into them you weren't in them how you gonna get in them by saying them all right the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words and when you're saying the words he then can answer those words and set you in those words all which happens to be your future asking the Holy Ghost for help you said we could do that right did you know the Bible calls him the helper when he has come the comforter the word comforter is translated helper in other translations he is the helper he is the one that helps you so the Holy Ghost helps say the Holy Ghost helps, the Holy Ghost helps. what if you could increase his help would you be better off would you like a little bit of help or you want a lot of help some of us need a lot of help you need a lot of help say I need a lot of help, I need a lot of help. well if I want a lot of help I'm gonna have to do the a lot of things that enables the Holy Ghost to a lot of help me <laughs> I'm getting a lot out of this message because I need the Holy Ghost and I need him to help me I don't want him to ignore me you know he ignores a lot of people because they don't do what he wants them to do they don't say the words that he gives them to say do you know the number one way for the Holy Ghost to help you is to say the words he gives you to say and if you don't say them he can't help you to the degree he really wishes he could
we all say help me holy ghost well hang on we're gonna show you romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise the spirit also helps now do you suppose we could have greater or lesser degrees of help well we have we see he helps he can help either in a greater or lesser degree what do you want well I want the most help possible okay that's perfect we all say that I say it too but I'm gonna show you some things here likewise the Spirit also helps our infirmities now that word infirmity could mean sicknesses it could mean just inabilities it could be lack it could be your deficiency in any area of life meaning you're coming up short likewise the spirit also helps likewise like this how's the spirit help like this the spirit helps like this the spirit helps like this all right for we know not what we should pray for as we ought we know not what we should say for as we ought like this the spirit helps now let me ask you a question if you could say for as you ought you probably wouldn't need that much help would you if you could speak in faith and you knew all the things to say or pray the right way are you here likewise like this the spirit helps like this our weaknesses for we know not what to say for or pray for as we ought mm -hmm. meaning that's our number one deficiency is we've come short in our saying well why would that be according to everything that I've said so far calling upon the Lord he's able to set you in the thing you called for if you're not calling for the right thing he can't set you in the right thing we know not what we should pray for as we ought but remember this is how the Spirit's gonna help you but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings those things we couldn't utter he's going to help you to say the thing you couldn't say mm -hmm. and say it in the way you couldn't say it now what do we know this to be talking about talking about speaking in tongues if I'm speaking the words he's giving me I'm able to say things that I couldn't say in my known language he's helping me to say things that I can then move into is this making sense yes. like how does the Spirit help you like this the Spirit helps us verse 27 he that searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit because he makes intercession speaks mm -hmm. on behalf of the Saints according to the will of God so we know that when we're speaking in other tongues we're speaking what the will of God verse 28 and we know that all things work together for us why is that because he's giving us the words he's not the one doing the actual vocalizing of it we vocalize say we vocalize we vocalize, we vocalize what he's giving us mm -hmm. to say mm -hmm. and then after this you know the will of God after this the vocalizing of what he gives me to say mm -hmm. I know the will of God I know the plan of God before I vocalize I don't know the plan of God before I vocalize I don't know the will of God I mean I might know some of it but I don't know the exact will of God and I can't enter into it then also after 
where does verse uh, 28 come in does verse 28 come after right verse 28 comes after 26 and 27 so when we see these words and we know when is it that we and we know it's after we did the saying according to his will after we did the speaking in other tongues verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good those things working together says all things that you were speaking about mm -hmm. say all things, all things that I was speaking about, was speaking about. Work, together work together for good for, good. for, me. for me I know that afterwards I know the power of verse 28 after I did verse 26 and 27 and we know who's the we in verse 28 it would be the we who did 26 and 27 because you can't be the we in 28 you can't be we 28 until you were we 26 and we 27 Amen. now remember this is where I'm trying to get you to know the power say know the power it's available he would not have given you that scripture just to throw it out there ha 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 wouldn't that be good rub your nose in it we can know the power of all things working together for good say that I can know the power of all things working together for good for me we can live in that realm we can walk in that realm where we enter in and obtain it and we know all things working together for good as you pray in the spirit many times ours you gain an aptitude for spiritual things things make more sense to you than they did before the more you pray in the spirit you realize you're calling things you're calling for things in the spirit what things things that are to come mm -hmm. Holy Ghost said he'd show you things to come mm -hmm. when he came he began giving you words to speak mm -hmm. you're speaking things say I'm speaking things, I'm speaking things. yeah you're speaking things that are to come things that you can then enter into and things that are all things working together for good for you you're calling for things as I was writing this down the Holy Ghost said I have a package waiting for you and it will come to your spirit it will drop down on the inside but then you have to unpack it and that package is all things working together for good for you I hope I brought you up here it comes complete listen it comes complete to you it's a complete package but you must unpack it you must unwrap it and you do that with the words of your mouth This is how the Holy Ghost does stuff can you hear that he gives you things what is that thing that's the all things working out together for good for you boom he puts it on the inside of you but then you have to unpack it you have to unwrap it have you ever had a computer program downloaded and it comes in the what do they used to call them zip files you just, you just put it in there and you're like that's it this is it but then you click on it if you click on it then it starts to unpack or unzip and then all of this other stuff is in there and it takes all of your hard drive <laughs> some of these things and I'm talking spiritually you get a spiritual aptitude for this some of these things takes years for you to unwrap it 
to unpack it I'm unpacking things I was talking to Olivia the other day I'm unpacking things from 30 years ago even now and part of why I'm saying this message is there's a lot of you have a lot of work to do getting unwrapping those things it takes time it takes diligence it takes effort what if I don't put the effort in to unpack it and I wait another 20 years what's gonna happen nothing for 20 years is it still in my future mm -hmm. yeah and that's the problem I need to bring that thing that's in the future into my present are you getting this say I need to, I need to. bring that thing that's in my future into my present is healing in your future yeah is youth renewal in your future better be it's prosperity in your future where do you need to bring it into your present how do you bring it with your words predominantly I've been talking about speaking in tongues this evening let your words and your speaking do the work what do you mean put your time in put the effort in what if I do it every day I'll get closer to the thing I'm supposed to be unpacking right when I speak in other tongues I hope we're here when I speak in other tongues that equals all things working together for good for me remember you said we could get to verse 28 which is and we know all things work together for good mm -hmm. right how do we get to verse 28 but by speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gives us utterance letting him intercede meaning he gives us the words to say and we say them I'm calling are you here when I'm doing that I'm literally saying mm -hmm. all things work together for good for me that's the package all things working together for good for me and for my partners and people that are part of this ministry when I'm speaking in tongues I'm literally saying that well how can you say that because that's what this said mm -hmm. I'm speaking in the spirit all things working together for good for you and for me mm -hmm. when I say things in other tongues it is the equivalent of saying all things work together for good for me otherwise you couldn't get all things working together for good for you but in order to get into all things working together for good for you it requires the equivalent words of saying in other tongues anyway it's the exact equivalent did I get that across I feel like I might need to say it four or five more times it's the exact equivalent it's the exact equivalent if I just say it louder <laughs> if praying in tongues brings you to that thing in the future what is that thing in the future I had to be saying that thing in the future if my praying in tongues brings me to that place what is that thing in the future all things working together for good for me so my praying in tongues is the equivalent exact of all things working together for good for me praying in tongues is calling for all things working together for good for me it calls for it I called upon the Lord the Lord answered me and set me in all things working together for good for me can you put a price on that all things working together for good for you I just told you how to get there say he just told me just like five different ways how to get there to all things working together for good for me well how much do you want that all things working together for good for you this is how the spirit helps well how much do you want this is how much you will pray in the spirit to get it speaking in agreement with him and your future 
say speaking in agreement, speaking in agreement. With, him with him and my future well I'm preaching this message so that you can have this revelation and learn how to pay the price or pray the price to begin to stand in a new place a place you've never been a place in the future that you're called to go and obtain and this is where we're going together as we worship the Holy Ghost and speak in agreement with his words but there is a more perfect revelation and I'm hoping that I've developed a new desire a renewed interest in speaking in other tongues in you so prove it get it in your mouth get it on your lips speaking in other tongues to the degree that you want to have all things working together for good for you says the Lord and I shall surely bring it to pass we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name and I pray for these people let your blessing anointing come on them that they may know you and walk with you and begin speaking yes even in new languages that you've never even delved into before they shall come to you and present themselves to you as you continue we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I thank you that I am blessed and I can walk with you in the earth fully blessed fully prosperous fulfilling all that you've called me to do and be in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today.